Hi friends, it's Miss Dina. Are you ready for our second read aloud of Otis? Okay friends, we are going to read Otis again. What do you remember about Otis the Little Tractor? Yes, and who was his special friend? What happened to Otis when the farmer got a new tractor? How did Otis save his friend, the little calf? Yes. All right, before we get started, let me go back to the screen and we're gonna do some vocabulary. So we have the word unwind, which means to um, relax and kind of let go of everything that's happened um, through the day. Stall is a small area in a barn. Waited is to walk into the shallow bit of water or mud as in this is the case in this story. Stuck means you cannot move. And the last one's in quotation marks because it's a, um, a phrase. Um, somebody might say, I'm fit to be tied. And that just simply means that they're very angry or frustrated. All right, so let's get started um, on our story. I'm going to let um, Trace Adkins read our story today. Um, and then I will pause it at um, various times to talk about it. There was once a friendly little tractor. His name was Otis. Every day, Otis and his farmer worked together taking care of the farm they called home. Otis liked to work. But after working hard all day, Otis was ready to unwind and play. Ride the rolling hills, skirt mud pond, down by the corn. He would leap frog bales of hay and explode through the haystacks. On occasion, he would chase a rabbit or play ring around the rosy with the ducks. The sound of his steady putt, puff, puttity, chuff. And sometimes at the end of the day, he would just sit under the apple tree and watch the farm below. Every night, Tired but happy, Otis would putt and puff into the little stall in the barn that was all his. One night when Otis was fast asleep, the farmer brought a beautiful baby calf into the barn. The calf bawled and bawled for her mother, but when the sleepy sound of a soft putt puff puttity chuff came from the next stall, the scared little calf stopped bawling. Now, when this calf came into the barn. She was so scared from being away from her mother. But Otis is nearby and makes her feel better. I think listening to his puff, putt, puff, puppity, chuff was very soothing and calming for her. There she is fast asleep. From that day on, calf started following the little tractor wherever he went. But puff puttity chuff. She followed him over the rolling hills and down by mud pond. She was right behind him, leapfrogging bales of hay. And the calf made their games of ring around the rosy all the better. Sometimes, at the end of the day, the two of them would just sit together under the apple tree and watch the farm below. Otis loved his calf. The little calf loved Then one day, the farmer surprised everyone with a brand new yellow tractor. Time to move out, Otis, the farmer said. He took Otis out of the little stall in the barn that was all his and parked him back behind the barn. Then he backed the big yellow tractor into the stall next to the little calf. You know, I 
think that after the farmer leaves Otis behind the barn, that um, the little calf misses him and really wishes he would play. But the little calf didn't like the new yellow tractor. He had a deep rumbling snore that shook the stall when he slept. There was no one to purr the little calf gently, no one to spend her days with. Otis, Otis could not even see his farm as the weeds began to cover his tires. His friend often sat with him, but she could not get him to play when he told her. It was early summer when the farmer discovered a poster. Who has the prettiest calf in the land? Judges will decide at the county fair and award a fancy blue ribbon to the winner. The farmer knew the answer. He would show the little but on the morning of the fair, the little calf was nowhere to be found. She had wandered down to Mud Pond by the cornfield to be lost. When she waded into the muddy water, her feet sank. With every step, she sank deeper and deeper. The little calf was stuck in the mud pond. So the farmer wants to take the little calf to the fair, but she obviously has gone and gotten herself stuck. Why can't the big yellow tractor and the fire truck get the little calf out of the pond? I think it's because they are both too noisy and it scares her. Get the hands, the farmer shouted when he saw her. All the farmhands came running with their ropes, but the more they tugged, the more stuck the calf got. Get the big yellow tractor, the farmer shouted. He can save her. But the big tractor just scared the little calf. She sank in deeper and deeper. Nearby farmers began to gather. Then call Fire Chief Douglas in the fire truck, the farmer shouted. They can save our little calf. But the sight of the big red fire truck startled the little calf in farmer was fit to be tied. If the farm hands and the big tractor and even fire chief Douglas and his fire truck couldn't save the little calf, who could? Who can save her? Suddenly, the little calf's ears perked up. Over the hum of the growing crowd, there came a faint sound. sound became louder. Putt, puff, puttity, chuff. And all at once, Otis putt, puffed from around the barn. He turned and headed straight toward Mud Pond. Otis putt, puffed down the rolling hill and pulled right up next to the muddy water's edge. Calf heard her friend's puttering purr and bawled. It was something like "mo." Oh. Then, to the sound of his gentle chuff and the amazement of all the people in the crowd, Otis slowly began to circle the pond. He circled and he circled. The little calf turned and turned, ever taking her eyes off of her friend. With each ring Otis made around Mud Pond, the muddy grip loosened until the calf was able to stumble out of the pond on her own. The two friends had found each other again. Otis led the calf right down the dusty road toward the village, and everyone threw flowers as they went, following them into town. It looked like a happy parade. No one needed a fancy blue ribbon to tell them that the calf was a special calf, Otis was a special tractor, and the two of them were special friends. From that day on, the farmer discovered that with Otis's puttering purr beside the chicken coop, his chickens laid more eggs. At milking time, the 
Otis's gentle chuff nearby, his cows produced more milk. On occasion, Otis even got to join the farmer and the big jello tractor out in the fields. But often, at the end of the day, Otis would just sit with his friend under the apple tree and watch the farm below eat the food. All right. So I hope you enjoyed um, that story. It's a cute little story. You know, I wonder why the calf was so afraid of the big yellow tractor. Really, you think so? And the farmer gave Otis's stall to the big tractor and left Otis behind the barn. But I wonder how the big tractor felt when Otis saved the little calf. How do you think he felt when he discovered that Otis could help other animals too? Yeah. The little calf was stuck in the pond until Otis came to help her. What did she do to get out? Yeah, she went in circles. They were doing Ring Around the rosy. And how did she know what to do to get out? Yes, Otis and the little calf had played Ring Around the rosy for a long time. So it was nothing new to her. She just knew how to play, didn't she? Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe.